I'm Hobson. You'll catch me a little later on in the FCAP program. I'm actually speaking to you from the past. Well, kinda. You see, by now, I should be back home, curled up on the couch with my family and dog, of course, ready to be tuning in to celebrate. Hey, if you haven't already, hit up social with hashtag MySCPUGrad and let us see how you're celebrating. take this moment to thank all those who supported me. I could not have made it this far without the sustenance from my creator and from the support of those around me. So to my friends, my parents and family, the folks with the Muslim Students Association, my professors and all those along the way who made SFU a better place to be, thank you. I'm here to get more than a degree. I'm here to explore. To connect. To learn. I am here to forge a new path. To push myself. To set goals and achieve them. I am here to win. I am here to grow. I look forward to working with peers, communities, and all different stakeholders to build a just, sustainable, and livable future for all, and addressing all of the, uh, root, the root cause of all the issues we face today. I am here to build bridges. I'm here to promote inclusion. To embrace diversity. To learn from others. I'm here to support my community. I'm here to lift people up. To engage. To listen. I am here to grow.
Today, I'm here celebrating my family in person and my friends over Zoom. Although not an in-person convocation ceremony, I'm so grateful to be surrounded by those who support me along the way. my family who reside on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Thank you for making my educational dreams come true, even though we are physically far, but always in my heart. And thanks to all those amazing inspirational individuals in my life. Thank you for believing in me, even at the times that when I doubted myself.
and welcome everyone. The time has come for us to celebrate Simon Fraser University's class of June 2021. I'm Natalia Ng, actress, singer, and former national team golfer from Malaysia and your fellow SFU alumnus. Currently filming from an obscure location here in Malaysia, my home. It's the third lockdown due to the whole pandemic thing, but thanks to the wonders of technology, I'm able and delighted to welcome you, SFU's newest alumni, to today's virtual convocation for the BD School of Business. Graduates, or should I say my fellow alumni, today we are gathered virtually to celebrate your graduation, one of the most important milestones in your university experience. We're celebrating your incredible achievements because they deserve to be celebrated. You've worked hard to earn your degree and we are all so proud of everything you've accomplished. It's been so wonderful to see how you've been celebrating with your families and friends. Many of you are posting on social media, whether it's wearing your virtual cap and gown with SFU's Instagram filter or recreating your walk across the stage moment in your living room. There is definitely no shortage of warmth and creativity in your celebrations. I'd like to encourage you to share your photos and messages using the hashtag MySFUGrad. And you can join the live chat during the program sharing your best wishes with one another. Do you hear that? I think I hear bagpipes. That's our cue to turn our attention to Burnaby Mountain, get comfortable and ready to enjoy the ceremony. It's an honor for me to be here with you today to welcome you to the, to, to, to the unceded territory, the shared territories. That song that we entered in with today was the Musqueam paddle song, Musqueam victory song, and our canoe paddlers sing that song to keep in sync, to keep in stride, and also keep their strength up. Just wanted to share that with you today. Hike up, I was the MCI, hike up. Great day, everyone. Congratulations, students. You have done a great job with your studies here with the family of SFU. 
thanking the communities from which you come from and your families. Just a special blessing now for your journey. Great Spirit, thank you for bringing us together today. Just guide each and every one as they leave our community to go into different communities. Let us always remember that we are the leaders and the mentors of those who follow us, those who witness what we do and what we say. I ask Great Spirit, just a very special blessing now on each and every one present here today, all my relations. Thank you for sharing that warm welcome, Elder Margaret. I'd also like to pay my respects to elders, past and present. Thank you also to Jack Lee, Pipe Sergeant of the SFU Pipe Band, and Alec Dan of the Musqueam Nation for his drumming and song. It's an honor to be here today on the traditional, unceded and continually occupied territories of the Squamish, tsleil Musqueam and Coquitlam peoples, where SFU's convocation is hosted and filmed. The SFU Choir, graduates and members of the SFU community will now lead us in the singing of O Canada. Please rise. Please be seated. Your Honour, Madam President, members of the Board of Governors and Senate, faculty, honoured guests, graduates, families and friends, I'm Tamara Vrooman, Chancellor of Simon Fraser University. Joining me on the platform are SFU's Vice Presidents, Deans and Registrar. We're delighted and honoured that you're with us for convocation. I now declare the June 2021 Convocation Assembled for the Granting of Degrees. I'm pleased to present Her Honour, the Honourable Janet Austin, Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia, for her opening address. Chancellor Vrooman, President Johnson, honoured guests, graduates, families and friends, it is an enormous pleasure to join you today as you celebrate on the traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, tsleil Katsi, Kwikwetlem, Kikite, Kwantlen, Semiamu, and Sawasan peoples. Haichika Siam. And although we can't gather in person to celebrate your achievements, we are joined together in spirit. In the spirit of camaraderie and resolve that has characterized this past most challenging year. I want to thank everyone in the university community, staff, faculty, alumni, and students for pulling together on this journey. The past year has shown us the best of British Columbia, and I have found inspiration in countless examples of unstinting generosity and compassion that have emerged around the province. People from all walks of life and every part of our province looking out for each other as neighbors, as friends and as fellow citizens. These examples show us that when called upon, we can live up to the responsibilities of citizenship and community and pull together to solve common problems. To the graduates, in a world where knowledge is our most important asset, 
Your success is our success, and your future is our future. Of all the knowledge that you've acquired in your studies, this simple bit of wisdom, that more is achieved working together than alone, is perhaps the most important of all. As you leave this institution and embark on the next chapter of your lives, I encourage you to carry this thought with you, to help chart a better, kinder, more inclusive future for yourselves, for your community, indeed for all of us. As you say here at Simon Fraser University, we are ready and we are ready together. On behalf of all British Columbians, please accept my heartfelt congratulations and very best wishes for every possible success and happiness as you yourselves define these things. Haichka Siam. Thank you, Your Honour. I'm delighted to introduce the Minister of Advanced Education and Skills, the Honourable Anne Kang, for her remarks. Hi, everyone. I'm Anne Kang, and it's my privilege to be serving British Columbians as a new Minister of Advanced Education and Skills Training. I'm sending you greetings from the unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh Nations. Congratulations to each one of you on your accomplishment. I am so proud to be one of the first people to celebrate your success with you as you graduate from Simon Fraser University. For decades, SFU has played a significant role in changing the culture of the province and driving social progress. I know you'll take the fight for justice with you to help make our province a better place for everyone. I know this is not the kind of graduation day you had imagined. I realize not not being able to be part of a large celebration in person because of COVID-19 has been disappointing. But you have worked hard to reach this milestone in your life, and nothing, not even this pandemic, can take that away from you. COVID-19 has just proven to us all how much you are needed. Your generation plays a unique role as it is going to write the next chapter of our province, our country, and our world. May you use your skills acquired at Simon Fraser University to give back to your respective communities and help us build a better BC. Your family and friends, your professors and instructors, they will view this virtual convocation and be as proud of you as I am. As a former elementary school teacher, lifelong learner, and a woman of color, empowering people through education is a value close to my heart. And that is why I am so happy to see the progress you've made this far, and I encourage you to keep going strong. Today, we celebrate each one of you for all your dedication and determination to education, especially during this challenging time. Congratulations once again, and good luck. Thank you, Minister. Honoured guests and graduates, Although we can't be together, our separation only adds to the pride we have in our graduating students. Earning a degree is always an extraordinary accomplishment. Earning a degree at this moment in our history is a feat of dogged determination and character. Your commitment to education through the pandemic reminds us that important values endure even when the world is turned on its head. And that was certainly the case in this past year. But let us also say, at the outset of my remarks, that we are celebrating your achievement at a difficult and painful moment in our history. A moment embodied in the souls of 215 beautiful children found at the former Kamloops Indian Residential School. A moment that forces us to confront horrible injustices and brutality carried out under the banner of progress in education. And so on this day, let's remind ourselves that as important as education can be, it is not a good in and of itself. To be good, education must be attached to a moral vision that seeks a better and more humane understanding of what it means to be human. Einstein famously said, any fool can know. The point is to understand. It's not easy. The world is immensely complex. But it helps us understand if we can see the world through another's eyes. If our first instinct is towards compassion and empathy. 
For me, that is the enduring value of higher education. It gives us both knowledge and perspective, a perspective that leads to greater understanding. And it is one of the reasons I love this institution. From its very beginning, Simon Fraser University has been guided by the idea that knowledge and understanding are born from engagement, and that at its best, a university is threaded into the life of the community. Only in this way can an institution of higher learning truly fulfill its mission and contribute to a better understanding of our world. I see those values at work in the SFU researchers who have done so much to inform our public health decisions during the pandemic. I see them at work in our contribution to inform dialogue on some of the toughest issues of our time through SFU Public Square. I see them through the work of BD School of Business, where discussions about blending business success and the success of society and the planet were a focus before the rest of the world had even heard of ESG. And I see them at work in SFU's ambition to be a more inclusive, welcoming, and nurturing institution for all. Now, as SFU alumni, I hope you will not only apply the knowledge you've gained, but also the wisdom you've earned. In that way, you can fulfill your personal ambitions for a productive and well-lived life and better understand and contribute to the world around you. As an SFU alumnus myself, and the first in my family to attend university, this is one of the many gifts I receive from my time at university and now as Chancellor of SFU. And I trust it will be for you as well. On behalf of everyone at SFU, faculty, staff, and more than 170,000 alumni spread across the world, congratulations. You deserve it. I call upon the president of our university, Dr. Joy Johnson, for her address to graduates. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. Graduates and honored guests, welcome everyone to this special convocation ceremony. Let me begin by acknowledging that I am privileged to be speaking to you today on the traditional unceded territories of the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, Musqueam, and Coquitlam peoples. As a settler on these lands, I recognize a responsibility to address and repair relations with the Indigenous people whose lands we occupy. Acknowledging this is an important step towards reconciliation. I also want to say, everyone watching and listening today, that the entire SFU community stands in solidarity with Indigenous peoples as we grieve the enormous, unfathomable loss of life at the Kamloops Indian Residential School. The devastation caused by Canada's residential schools knows no moral limits. And so, as we gather today, I ask us all to acknowledge the collective responsibility we share for a system that took so many innocent lives. And that in their memory, our graduates take forth the conviction that they have the power to confront injustice and build a better world. For me, that is one of the most important lessons we can take from the last year and a half of forced isolation, the power we have to overcome. And so, as challenging as these last months have been, I don't believe your future or your experience at SFU will be defined by the pandemic and its aftermath. I think your future, our future, will be defined only by you, because history just doesn't happen to us. We happen to history. And so, yes, the world is going through a period of profound change and uncertainty. Yes, we must forthrightly confront injustice, past and present. It seems daunting, but don't forget, past generations faced enormous challenges too, and they confronted them with courage and foresight often against enormous odds and the tutting of cynics. I think of the young Indigenous leaders who fought to establish Aboriginal title almost 50 years ago. 
I think of the early struggles of the Canadian feminist and LGBTQ movements that opened new paths for people like me to lead institutions like this one. I think of the scientists who worked so diligently to develop vaccines in record time and the public health officials who've worked so hard to keep us safe. These people knew that history isn't just stumbled upon, it's created by working together in common cause to bend it in a better direction. Now, of course, every one of you is unique. You come from different backgrounds, spiritual traditions, and political perspectives. You want different things from your education and from your lives. That's good. Difference is good. But don't forget that you are also, you share a common destiny. We all do. And with that knowledge and the wisdom that comes from learning, always know that you have an enormous agency and power over the world that is to come. I hope and trust that the time you spent at Simon Fraser University studying and learning has helped you see this important truth. On behalf of the entire SFU community, my heartfelt thanks to all of your friends and family who helped you along the way. My sincere congratulations to you for all that you have accomplished. You did it, and we are so proud of you. SFU's honorary degree is the highest honor conferred by the university. The degrees are awarded to distinguished individuals in recognition of their scholarly, scientific, or artistic achievement, or in recognition of exceptional contribution to the public good. Their achievements celebrate our university's values and serve as an inspiration to our students, graduates, and community. I'm delighted to introduce this June's honorary degree recipient, the Honorable Dr. Wally Opal, who has conferred a degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. The Honorable Wallace Taru Opal, or Wally as he is better known, is an esteemed lawyer, judge, and public servant whose life's work has made British Columbia a safer, more just, and more inclusive society. Raised by his widowed mother on Vancouver Island, Dr. Opal worked at sawmills and logging camps to pay for his legal education. After graduation, he worked as a criminal lawyer, eventually being named to the County Court of British Columbia in 1981, the first judge of Indian heritage outside of India. In 1985, he rose to BC Supreme Court and then to the BC Court of Appeal in 2003. Two years later, he was elected as MLA and served as Attorney General and Minister responsible for multiculturalism. Today, he is a respected arbitrator and mediator. Throughout his career, Dr. Opal has been a leader and tireless advocate for British Columbia's most vulnerable citizens. He distinguished himself as an expert facilitator of challenging public inquiries from his landmark 1994 review of policing to the more recent Missing Women's Commission's inquiry, both of which delivered significant reforms to BC's policing and justice systems. Dr. Opal has been recognized with a list of honors and awards, including the Order of British Columbia in 2017. It is with pleasure that I call on the Honorable Dr. Wally Opal for his convocation address. Chancellor Bruman, President Johnson, when uh, I was first advised that I was being awarded an honorary doctorate from Simon Fraser University, I thought, first of all, that it has to be a mistake. And on the other hand, then I thought that uh, maybe they run out of people to honor. I can't tell you what an absolute delight this is uh, to receive this honor. It's, it's just fantastic. I'm the son of immigrant parents, and uh, for the university, Simon Fraser University, to honor me, I can tell you, it's huge, not only for me, but, but for my family. I've um, been fortunate 
in that I've had a number of different careers so far and had the opportunity to do a number of different things. And, and uh, one of the most rewarding and one of the most gut-wrenching was being the sole commissioner on the Picton Inquiry, which was the inquiry into missing and murdered women. I say that because it involved the largest serial, serial killer in Canada who preyed on innocent women who were often drug addicted, often poor, often without any kind of, uh, of uh, living accommodations, and they were ignored by society and ignored by the police. And uh, I listened to their stories. I did two, we did two tours of the north. We went into the villages on, off Highway 16, and we heard the plight of the poor people in our province. And I would urge you, the graduates of today, to get involved in social issues, get involved in recognize that there are many of us here who are not as have the advantages of life that you have had or that I have had. The fact is that the his, our historical mistreatment of Indigenous people is well known. And when I did the Picton inquiry, that came home in spades because women came to the police to tell how their daughters were gone missing, they were murdered, and they were ignored. And that the public was indifferent to their plight. We need to pay attention to those things. One reason why I left the Court of Appeal and uh, went into uh, becoming the Attorney General of the province, I wanted to get involved in social issues, violence against women, the treatment of Aboriginal people, the treatment of people in the downtown east side. So those are things that I had an opportunity to do. Hopefully we made a difference. But I'm urging all of you, as you go out into the world with your Simon Fraser University degree, to get involved, to treat those people who need help. There are many of us in our community who need help. And uh, I would urge upon you to get involved, give something back to the community. We are fortunate to live in a wonderful country of Canada where we all have rights, we all have liberties, and the governments and, and institutions are accountable to us. So thank you again. Uh, I, I'm just honored and privileged to be a part of your grad ceremony. And uh, it's, as I said, that I'm very touched by this, uh, considering my background. And uh, uh, so I'm here today. So thank you again. And I thank the university. I thank uh, the uh, past president, Andrew Petter, who I've known for many years. And uh, he and I had the advantage of working together in the uh, India Advisory Committee. Uh, again, I thank you. I'm grateful for the honor. We are so proud of our honorary degree recipients and all of you, SFU's newest alumni. I invite Brandon Chapman, President of the Alumni Association, to bring greetings to the graduates. Congratulations to the honorary degree recipients and the class of 2021. I'm Brandon Chapman, President of SFU's Alumni Association, and I'd like to officially welcome you to the Alumni Association. You're now lifetime members of a worldwide network with more than 170,000 alumni in over 140 countries. Our goal is to provide you with opportunities to learn, to grow, and to thrive through professional and personal development opportunities, career resources, and other benefits. As alumni, you now serve as ambassadors for SFU in your communities. So be proud of your accomplishments, and we wish you the best of successes on this next phase of your journey. Thank you, Brandon. Madam Chancellor, an important part of convocation is hearing the words of our graduates. Jenny Leanne is graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration with a focus on mentorship and creating genuine impact in her community. Jenny inspired high school students to create their own sustainable startups. In one of her co-op placements, she led technology transformation initiatives at RBC. This fall, she's beginning a career in consulting as an analyst at Deloitte. 
Hello and congratulations to all BD graduates. My name is Jenny and I'm honored to be speaking to you all today. When reflecting back on my own BD journey, the one word that comes to mind is community. Every step along the way, I was welcomed by supportive mentors and friends. Their leadership fueled me to take on all the quintessential university experiences, such as international exchange, co-op, case competitions, and far too many extracurricular activities from one person to handle. Being part of the BD community gave me the confidence to dive headfirst into opportunity and to overcome any challenge. This proved especially helpful this past year as we navigated life through the pandemic. Class of 2021, this is our chance to lead the way and pave a path not only for ourselves, but also for the world around us. We are right now in an extraordinary time of our lives that concurrently aligns with a time where the world is rapidly evolving as it begins to reopen. But have faith that your time at SFU has equipped you with all the capabilities to thrive in this period of ambiguity. Your resiliency, critical thinking, leadership, and collaboration skills will take you far. And I know that for myself and many of my fellow graduates, we are here today because of the amazing support of those around us. I would like to thank all the professors, members of the university community, friends, and family who have touched our lives along the way. Just like how we went from pulling late nights in WMC to quickly spending countless of hours in Zoom because of the pandemic, we'll once again transition to a new era in our lives, whether that be entering the workforce, further education, volunteering, or simply taking time for ourselves. And although the next few milestones may not be as clear cut to us right now, I know that each and every one of us will create our own paths of success that will positively impact the world around us. Feel proud of all your accomplishments. And once again, congratulations to all. We did it. Eric Brinkman is a tree planter turned business executive. He has planted more than 1.5 million trees by hand and continues to work with his family firm on sustainability initiatives. He's an artist, illustrator, music producer, founder of a refugee sponsorship group, and has apprenticed with an indigenous shaman in the Amazon. He also co-founded an investment fund for fellow EMBA alumni. Hello, class of 2021. It's my great honor to speak to you today as we take flight as EMBAs. I must confess, I started this program half assing it, winging assignments and wasting the privilege of higher learning. But as many of you know, during the second semester, I was in for a great awakening. On the first day of my honeymoon, I slipped on a wet balcony and fell four stories onto a marble floor. I broke 20 bones and the doctors told my wife, that I wouldn't survive. And if I miraculously did, that I wouldn't walk again. Being a silk thread away from death and the pain and suffering awakened me to the indescribable gift of life. Perhaps my great awakening was really from gratitude. Determined not to let my trauma and chronic pain define me, I returned to the Beatty School of Business and went all in. With pain we earn. And no matter how far we fall, we get up again stronger. And here we are, all of us, graduating together. Executive masters of business. But will our business be purely for profit's sake or become a path of healing for everyone? Let's be healing leaders, menders of humanity's impact on the earth, healers of injustice and scarcity, our collective trauma will not define us. We've studied the system, now let's disrupt it. Let's choose a new bottom line where the goal of business is to affirm life. In a murmuration of thousands of starlings, somehow one flick of a feather spreads like a shockwave, changing the whole flock's direction. You too can catalyze change for everyone. Go all in, fly free, and your flight will guide others. Thank you so much for your remarks. Madam Chancellor, I'm now delighted to acknowledge SFU's highest graduate award recipients. 
The Gordon M. Shrum Gold Medal is awarded each year to a bachelor's degree student who has maintained a high scholastic standing and has contributed significantly to the university community. On behalf of SFU, I congratulate Galvin Huen for his impressive achievement. He's both passionate in and out of the lab, advocating for fellow students to create a positive student experience. He is graduating with a Bachelor of Science with honors in biomedical physiology. The Lieutenant Governor's Medal for Inclusion, Democracy, and Reconciliation is presented to an undergraduate student who excels in their studies and has made outstanding contributions to the promotion of inclusion, democracy, and or reconciliation within the campus community. This year, the Lieutenant Governor's Medal is awarded to Anya Sass, who is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and Gender, Sexuality, and Women's Studies. Passionate about human rights, she has volunteered extensively with refugees. Congratulations, Anya. The Governor General's silver medals are awarded to two undergraduate students who are judged to have the most outstanding records in the graduating class. This year's recipients are Jennifer Krentz, who is graduating with an honors, a bachelor's of arts degree in psychology and a minor in criminology. A volunteer research assistant in several psychology labs, she has also served as the SFU undergraduate representative of the Canadian Psychological Association. Rami El Mala is graduating with a Bachelor of Applied Science degree in Mechatronic Systems Engineering. His university experience was fueled by his passion for technology, community, and research. On behalf of SFU, we congratulate Jennifer and Rami for their impressive achievements. The Governor General's gold medals are awarded to the top two graduate students who are judged to have the most outstanding records in the graduating class. This year's recipients are Dr. Patricia Coburn, whose doctoral work focused on legal decision making. For her PhD, she conducted research on how cross-examination influences children's ability to testify. Dr. Coburn is a faculty member at Kwantlen Polytechnic University. Dr. Michael Meanwell has been working with leading pharmaceutical companies to significantly reduce the time and costs associated with drug development. He has also been active in several community-based science outreach programs and is currently working at the Scripps Research Institute in San Diego. On behalf of Simon Fraser University, we congratulate Dr. Co Coburn and Dr. Meanwell for their outstanding achievements. Madam Chancellor, it's now time for the presentation of the graduands. I present to you those scholars who have fulfilled the statutory requirements laid down by the Senate of this university and request that you confer upon them the degrees for which they are now recommended. The members of the graduating class are listed in the program book on SFU's convocation website and in the virtual procession of graduate names that will follow at the end of the speaking program. I now present to the Chancellor the graduating class to be admitted en masse to their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me and in the Senate of, the, of this university, I hereby admit you to your various and several degrees. Graduating class of June 2021, I congratulate each of you on the completion of your degree. This is an impressive achievement, and I encourage your friends and family to communicate their hearty congratulations to you by whatever means possible, in person or virtual. Now, I invite the members of the graduating class to reciprocate by communicating through some safe means your thanks to your family, friends, faculty, and staff, indeed all those who helped you to reach this goal.
Graduates, you will be receiving your degrees and a convocation celebration box in the mail soon. Friends, this completes the official awarding of degrees. Before we move to the virtual graduate procession, during which time our graduates will be individually named, I do have several thank yous to express. Thank all of you for joining us on such a celebratory occasion, and to the many staff who have worked together to run this virtual convocation, my thanks. Graduates, make sure you visit the Convocation website and join in the faculty and department gatherings. Graduates and families, we look forward to inviting you all to an in-person Convocation ceremony when it is safe to do so. Until then, we will honour and recognise each of our graduates individually here. Our deans have a few words to start. Dear graduates, in a year like no other in our lives, I want to recognize and congratulate you for the extremely significant feat of completing your graduate degrees, a feat of hard work and of an imagination, and one that I know your friends, family, and communities, and everyone here at SFU also takes pride in. The fact that you've done all the amazing, difficult, and brilliant things that come together into a graduate degree under circumstances that are not likely to be repeated, both for you and for your professors, shows how dedicated and resourceful you have been. Hopefully, it also reflects how we've worked together to overcome the isolation caused by the pandemic. So I hope that along with all the attention and perseverance you put in academically, that the joys of community, the support of friendships, and the excitement of growing intellectually have all been central to the time you've had at SFU. Not only are you part of the communities that distinguish SFU, but through your work as students, researchers, and teachers, you also shape SFU as a university and as a vital part of the social fabric of BC and beyond. Significantly, you have done all of this at a moment when universities are again reckoning with changes in society that are urgently asking for transformative knowledge, social, social justice, and global equity. Thank you and congratulations. On behalf of everyone at the Beatty School of Business, it is my great pleasure to congratulate all of you on successfully completing your studies. You are graduating at a time of unprecedented change, a time that brings not only great challenges, but also great opportunities. As you celebrate this achievement with your family and friends, I hope you can reflect on how your experiences at SFU Beatty will help you make a positive difference in this changing world. While your studies may now be over, as an alumnus, you will always remain an important member of our community. I encourage you to remain in touch with us and with the network you have built here. Once again, congratulations and best wishes for the future. Beatty School of Business. Monica Semenyuk. Michael K. Willett, recipient of a Graduate Dean's Medal. Abdulaziz Al Mosin. Charlene Rose Allard Ajit Amar Alana Francesca Aquilini Gerardo Arteaga Devin Asselstein Giant Athrea Florence Au Iwalola Olafiwabi Badua Mugaya Barenzo Bagambire Andre Balazin Olya Banikova Melissa Marie Bellamy Kirandeep Kaur Bahati Peter Akinkunmi Bodhi Eric Brinkman Maureen Francis Kesa Frida Madeline Campbell Jason Gary Gray Campbell Varundeep Chehel Matthew U.K. Chan Christy Ka Lam Ching 
Kiyum Cho. Michael Augustine Chow. Joanna Christie. Jane Chu. Stephanie Nicole Chua. Laura Costello. Stacy Lori Cootley. Rachel Lynn Cragg. Valerie Pearl Cross. Philip Aldwin Cunningham. Connie Davis. Constance Deschamps. Herbie Derivo. Calvier Dute. Ovidiu Derbalau. Christopher L. Eddy. Mike DiStefano. Kevin Allen Enns. Heather Ann Fader. Ken Favre Dubow. Zeta Fazlich. Chloe Ferguson. Apik Ghosh. Sarah Louise Giorfi. Patrick Hamlin. Ashley Harrison. Karis Hugardi. Evan Illich. Sonia Jakovicus. Farzeen Jamatlu. Stephen James Jim. Mark Alexander Jones. Charlie's Katharina Joseph. Aaron Krieger. Alexandra Kutalin. Vincent Y. Sang Kwong. Larry Lee. Sheldon Leader. Jason Y. K. Lee. Kailan Lee. Seen Lee. Michael James Lomax. Charles Ronald Louis Ying. Edmund Luke. Thomas Ma. Steve Jensen Mahind. Ruby Manila. Kofi Nkansa Manu. Kimberly Barbara Marosevich. Rodrigo Marufuhi de Almeida. Neeraj Marwaha. Dawn Catherine McGrath. Kara Mitchell. Daisy Modi. Christopher David Moore. Mala Muniswamy. Kat Newell. Charmaine Yu Ning Ng. Hua Witten. Josh O'Keefe. Sean William O'Leary. Corey Lynn O'Kell. Titi Lola Adenike Olomo Jobi. Isabello Ong. Sahar Pakzad. Mohammed Saud Pasha. Vaughn Curtis Paul. Alexander Perry. Jenny Marie Philbrick. Anna Piccolo. Love Kamal Punjabi. Jason Arthur Kwam. Yasmin Raymond. Shahram Rakshanfar. Pallavi Rao. Yunus Rashidi. Mohammed Razai. Elisa Rivero. Cynthia Lynn Robinson Young. Wanda Rock Thunder. Sarah Salhi. Shahab Samimi. Tracy Elizabeth Sarazin. Walter Clayton Schneider. Giovanni Sopeta. Shikank Sherma. 
Ankita Singh Danny Sron Maria Stefanova Michael Strang Emerson Suarez Michelle Schultz Jing Jing Tang Manraj Singh Thind Sarah Catherine Thomas Michael R. Thorson Nick Taves Amy Tofen Shauna Tonsaker Kevin Takumi Sumora Walter Patrick Twin Aline Ursu Vibha Veda Prakash Victoria Maria Ventura Casares Aranit Vinipal April Wong Yang Wang Donger Wang J. Philip Wisnand Verona White Cow Sequalia and Louise Wanick Angie Williams Cindy Wong Frank Shea Jia Yu Reza Zahiri Peng Zhang Jian Zhao Timothy Elikplim Ajamli Syed Asim Asan James Lindsay Alexander Samer Mutaz Alwatar Justin Shang Jong Ang Uche Chuku Anyakora Guy Brooks Ivy Chan Stephanie Chan Adrienne Huan Yi Chow Jia Yi Chen Charles Chen Yi Xiao Chen Cynthia Diane Clark Jones William Ronald Cliff Laura Corville Labuyanek Adam Deveni Rahul Emerson Papa Kwabena Aseda Essel Justin Faulkner Jeremy Fay Michelle Patricia Finnegan Christina Tamara Gagnon Eric Kevin Garland Phoebe Gong Minu Gulati Zuhu Han Hao Nan He Nicole Hostler Maggie Huang Andrew James Jia Ji Ranvikram Singh Khanna Christina Charisma Lal Justin Lee Wei Li Xu Hong Li Liang Hao Ambrose Liu Meng Han Liu Zijian Mao Stephanie Mark Chintan Deepak Matalia Rodney Philip McFarland Marissa McGillivray Rishi Mehta Katerina Melnikova Gareth Delano Menezes Salman Penjwani Matthew Douglas Pauls Eric Anthony Pino Sukriti Prabdial Catherine Presnail Jimmy Chu Samin Rajabi Bryant William Ramdu 
Jocelyn Elaine Ramsden Nazir Rosani Adam Saad Goshali Davy Sirutan Gregory Sharamata Graham Norman Steele Jonathan Taylor Taylor Scott Thompson Donna Tran Reagan Lancaster Travers Vincent Trottier Kirandeep K. Ubi Jessica Etiosa Ugiagbe Carissa Emma Vonda Vague Kevin Thomas Ye Jean Wong Wan Song Wu Hao Tong Shu Si Yu Xuan Kathy Yuan Ming Yuan Zhang Roy Kong Zhang Sejo Zhang Raphael Zhang Yan Zhang Zhao Tian Chi Zhang Xiaoya Zhou Shahab Ali Khani Sumeda Tina Bali Louisa Bell Shelley Danby Chong Sean Michael Christie Edward Cunningham Shreya Dasgupta Karambir Kar Dariwal Michael Di Stefano Lubov Golovetska William Green Jordan Thomas Greshner Shirley Gu Michael Andrew Hafner Anthony David Hamilton Jonathan William Brown Hamilton Kirsten Larissa Hansen Todd Richard Hinton Helen Lucy Hopkins Hutan Jarolahi Eric Jesnak Zhe Jiang Jamie Douglas Johnson Andy Fook An Lee J. Ha Lee Nicole Kristen Lee Fabiano Maciel Yana Marikova Peggy May Teresa Lynn McClelland Jennifer Mikolenka Jivika Tamara Beatis Jing Pan Ella Ermolenko Ernesto Antonio Rosario Stephanie Marie Shulman Marta Elise Jessica Spira Adina C. Spivak Ryan Walter Barber Thompson Leah Sang Claire Acampolira Tusime Alexandria Cindy Wallace Sandy Waitak Wong Kevin Yim Fan E. Duan Anita Wong Jenny Lian, recipient of an undergraduate dean's medal Parham Fanid Nicholas Alexander Agnoloni J. Ling Ake Faith Adawu Alibi Abraham Esso Wavana Ali Oro Nile Fung Hao An Maria Angelica Vidant Aurora Elise Asif Inderpreet Singh Atwal 
Angel Atwal Dana Bakay Sayed Saper Badie Ju Hyun Bay Paramveer Baines Branko Bajsedek Zabe Bajwa Baljinder Kaur Bal Sandeep Singh Bal Prabjot Kaur Bamra Norbu Tokyal Barum Song Jada Rishi Basran Trent Austin Bayer Jaden Colin Beatty Taha Ben Esmael Patrick Michael Benoit Ramandeep Singh Bangu Ashima Bardwaj Bhuvan Basim Harchitan Singh Bahati Tarun Botoy Robert Vinches Kristen Leanne Blundell Renata Blushka Cole Milan Bogdanovich Katrina Ellen Bois Tina Borchinen Matteo Antonio Botticelli Simran Brar Kimberlyn Dawn Brito Carmen Grace Brown Yanal Butt Sammy Kai Sin Tong Kai Edwin Chow Ethan Joshua Daniel Carlson Nicholas Dante Carusi Diane Katana Cole Comley Cavaliere Ashley Page Chan Eric Yin Wing Chan Noel Ann Yi Chan Sophia Yik Hei Chan Alex Yushuan Chong Jane Chong Humtaj Chatrath Sarah Chaudhry Hansika Chavla Hong Yuan Chen Jun Shang Chen Meng Chen Nathan Ti Yin Chen Wee Kong Chen Yan Zhang Chen Yifan Chen Yu Kun Chen Lavenda Chen Zi Hua Chen Jing Xuan Chang Po Chang Xin Xuan Chang Xin Yi Chang Adam Chong Nicole Chong Louis Zhang Chang Lucas Chin Takundanashe Chizvo Jared Chu Yi Chun Chu Unbin Cho Samuel William John Lum Choi Cameron Chong Jessica Olivia Chong Clement Chow Emily Susan Chow Omira Chow Yvonne Chow Adam Wallen Chu Jillian Stacy Chua Marcus Wing Heen Chewy Irene Ya Min Chung Kevin Daniel Chung San Chung James Desmond Collins Connor Tommaso Comerford Lisa Kuglin 
Hangja Tui. Erica Daniela Cumerlato. Emily Khan. Liu Yao Da. Huang Long Dang. Tai Jennifer Dang. Vikas Dharmaraj. Rosan Adani Darta. Matthew Robert Davis. Debra De Almeida Mogara. Paul David Delicana. Cassandra Lily Delvo. Ruxin Dung. Preeti Kaur Dada. Justin Singh Daliwal. Manveer Kaur Daliwal. Tunjod Singh Daliwal. Sukpreet Singh Dat. Navroop Singh Desi. Jessica Afwa Dixon. Teresa Jade Doan. Antonio Doyev. Gong Hui Dong. Jackie Duan. Amanda Claire Dunbar. Alan Duong. T. Nok Mai Duong. Marcel Imami. Justin Eng. Mark Allen Falk. Stephen James Prizework Feingold. Yu Chen Fung. Zhu Yi Fang. Juan Miguel Ferreira. Jennifer Ferrier. Alexandra Falenko. Matthew Christopher Fong. Evan Michael Forer. Liam Gregory Friesen. Lauren Furderer. Jasmine Fulati. Crystal Fung. Richard Ariel Gamba. Paula Gamble. Sebastian Ghani. Gao Wenchun. Yi Wei Gao. Bradley John Gardner. Adhar Gar. Gu Tao. Andre Gazi. Alduz Lale Garamani. Brody Kenneth Gibbs. Yai Luol Gil. Braden Dylan Gill. Jeevan Gill. Jazdeep Gill. Jaya Gill. John Mackenzie Carvajal Go. Alexander Golovac. Ruben Ravi Gomez Garcia. Marina Gonzalez. Nick Grossi, RJ Guatlo, Yu Gui, Rohan Gulati, Andro Pandu Gunati, Sean Abhishek Gunaratnam, Motong Guo, Xiao Chin Guo, Selena Ha. Tyler Daniel Halverson Mackenzie Robert Hamill Daniel Hahn Billy Hahn Su Jia Hahn Yuan Z Hahn Michael R. Hannon Bobin Singh Hans Gurjot Singh Hans Ruby Howe, Rock Howe, Chen Chi He, Jonathan He, Triana Carolina Hernandez Gomez, Zach Hetherington, 
Dedrick Hayoineta Carmen Carmen Ho Matthew Ho Franklin Hong Brendan Hoy Se Ming Hu Ziyang Hu Quan Lan Huang Sharon Huang Jeremy Huang Ka Ho Gavin Hui Tanvir Kor Handal Marzia Hussein Aitan Iskandarli Caroline Yu Woody Yu Sharan Janji Kel Yovan Yankovic Shindong Jia Zichao Jia Jessica Jiang Roberto Young Hoi Chang Jackie Gong Man Jun Felicity Jiang Zahara Nasiruddin Jawani Isabel Joaquin Bryden Tiger Joe Kanvir Singh Johal Joshua Juni Robert Gordon Kata Kanborg Eun B. Kong Ka In Kong Prerna Kapoor Logan Dean Kardash Sally Casper Daichi Alexander John Kieber Farasit Yar Khan Sarmina Nadir Khan Nizam Kajazada Alam Kim Joseph Chen Wu Kim Chung Hyun Kim Minji Kim Wan Ho Kim Ross William Kennard Alexander Herman Clare Kylie Kong Melissa Man Wa Ku Renu Kular Abhinav Jason Kumar Anthony Gordon Kwan Ka Man Kwok Yu Jin Kwan Sin Fat Kwong Samantha Camille Lagumbai Tina Lai Hien Lam Priscilla Lam Cole Matthew Landles Justin Matthew Lau Huang Ha Lua Ha Chong Li Anna Haiyan Li Heyoon Sophia Li Jarrett Li Jun He Li Marielle Li Rachel Catherine Li Ting Xuan Li Rhiannon Lytle Alan Leong Paige Lefham Casey Leong Terence Lung Terence Quan Kit Leong Vicky Leong Jang Li Meng Yao Li Ruby Leong Hong Li Stella Li Sylvia Man Soon Li Su Tong Li Shin Kai Li Shin Je Li Yi Hui Li Vanessa Lian Ying Zhou Lian Jason Leong 
Crystal Wanye Leong Miranda Leong Gabriel Lim Cindy Lin Yu Peng Lin Alvin Singh Heen Lip Chong Lu Chris Shun Lu Royce Kai Ping Lu Kevin Lu Lily Sinlin Lu Chen Chen Lu Xin Liu Yang Liu Yi Yang Lu Yu Liu Madison Riley Lo Valerie Lo Philip Lozanowski Zhang Yu Lu Kevin Luan Nicole Louie Heen Yuan Lun Carmen Luo Luo Jin Yi Nicholas Luong Yi Dan Ma Molly McClay Alexander Gary McLeod Alex McLeod Jordan May Mahaffey Calvin Chi Y Mack Emily Mack Noah Leonard Malcolm Anit Kaur Mali Samantha Manyalik Puneet Kaur Manku Jaspreet Singh Man Jajar Man Pushpinder Singh Man Shreya Marum Megan Marini Nina Martin Nikhil Matur Jacob Matkovic Ryan Matkovic Kyle A.P. Matthews Jessica Elizabeth Main Drew Mehta Brendan Mello Jethro Dionese Membreve Chester Ka Shing Mew Michelle Joanna Mikulowski Liam Bruce Miller Haley Sunita Kaur Minhas Saif Ali Tamane Mohammadi Mudasar Muhammad Eric William Morden Graham Morrison Marcus Murdoch Mohammed Musa Roy Ting Na Ray Nagaya Edwin Upal Nat Kudzaishe Unduku Fang Wa Sami Ng Nelson Ng Perry Ng Celine Wen Kenny Nguyen Tree Wen Wen Tat Tong Justin Noble Hiro Nomura Brendan Patrick O'Reardon Tegan Kelly O'Shaughnessy Alfred Ocampo Danielle Ocampo Muriel Cynthia Wambo Kenmonye Yasmina Parhar Helen Park Harshdeep Singh Parmer Matthew Ellis Parsons Nicole Paul Pritika Pavar Christopher Pereira Austin Peterson Anthony Lee Pham 
Miles Philpot, Nock Tran Fong, Hannah Plowman, Elvina Prasad, Sharon Puspa Dewi, Xiao Fan Chi, Alisa Chan, Yi Chun Chao, Wan Chen Qin, Taibo Chu, Gabriel Kwan, Sonica Rajay, Jaspal Raman, Alicia Rana, Harneet Kaur Rana, Jordan Nicholas Rocliffe, Liam Frederick Riley, Song Sen Ren, Jenny Ren, Kyle Rizé, Miguel Adolfo Resendiz Jimenez, Anna Ristic, Antoine Roche, Kale Roy, Skylar James Rustad, Hyo Jong Ru, Ken Sui Saito, Jaskirat Sandu, Rashminder Sandu, Sanjor Sandu, Priyadashini Sarma, Jasmine Kaur Sekhan, Gunit Singh Sethi, Tarveen Kaur Sethi, Aga Ali Shamil, Cheng Yi Shun, Elaine Shen, Zhe Hua Shen, Manjie Sheng, Zhe Yu Sheng, Brandon James Sherwin, Ping Fan Shu, Valentina Shen. Archie Chun Wei Shu, Indervir Singh Sidhu, Livleen Sidhu, Priya Kaur Sidhu, Stephanie Seem, Sabrina Kang Ting Sim, Ho Eun Darren Sin, Saruchi Singal. Daniel C2, Tony C2, Julian Yat Long Su, Marco Su, Ryan Su, Alexander Michael Skelton, Clayton Grady Skipper, Sin Hong Amila So, Aditya Sony. Donish Sumro, Jessica Stefan, Lucas Luba Stoit, Sheen Win Su, Jared Carter Sumel, Hao Jinya Sun, Wai Yin Sun, Cloris Sun, Cameron Walter Swanson. Brandon Tam, Carmen Tan, Rio Tanaka, Robert Yashua Tanra, Nav Tatla, Che Pong Tang, Samuel Arthur Lampria Thackray, Kaylee Theodora, Kai Ying Athena Tia. Su Lung Ting, Mitchell Joseph Tomita, Nelson Tong, Jovanpreet Singh Tor, Kareen Torn, Huan Lin Tran, Lin Tran, Dante Trasolini, 
Matteo Trigiano, Jessica Trong, Victoria Rachel Trong, Samuel Heen Shing Sang, Yen Chong Sang, Diana Yulo Tu, Vivian Elaine Tung, Donna Joy Mandrique Unleao, Sonia Yusenko, Paulina O. Yustinova, Travis William Uesugi, Louis Carlos Vargas Rochelo, Luca Christian Veltri, Supreet Verk, Kazra Vojdani, Michael Vong, Lemang Vu, Nixon Vu, Rebecca Waith, Mary L. Wall, Adrian Wen, Yuan Jen Wan, Harrison Wang, Zoe Wang, Shixi Wang, Shi Zhe Wang, Happy Wang, Zia Wang, Ziqing Wang, Zhu Rei Wang, Zhu Rei Wei, Darian Wickstead, Christina Ann Will, Lucas Stephen Willen. Sydney Gabrielle Williams, Catherine Nellie Wilson, Aaron Soon Ming Wong, Angus Wing Chung Wong, Anna Yu In Wong, Ethan Lok Wai Wong, Hannah Megan Wong, Keaton Wong. Taylor Wong, Shelby Lauren Woodward, Li Yi Wu, Se Hui Wu, Jian Chong Chao, Jia Wei Xi, Shu Li Xiang, Yin Xiang, Meng Wei Shu. Shan Xu, Bai Kai Yang, Zhen Jie Yang, Oriana Meng Yu Yang, Xu Yang, Xu Lan Yang, Xiao Yang, Yuan Yao, Aaron Yap. Crystal Yi, Fan Yi, Brendan Yi, Tamira Yik, Amiri Yoshikawa, Andrew Sang Young, Yi Yu, Yang Yu, Ahmed Zuhair Zahid. Joshua Cooper Zayans, Jie Tong Song, Yu Shuang Jai, Jiun Zhang, Mohan Zhang, Quan Jing Zhang, Zhang Ran, Rachel Zhang, Xiang Yu Zhang. Wu Liu Zhang, Wu Qing Zhang, Teresa Zhao, Gary Zhou, Jessica Zhao, Jia Yi Zhou, Jing Yu Zhou, Carmen Yi Tang Zhu, Forest Zhu. Danielle Alexandra Kwok, Crystalie Ano Ng, 
Selena Power Majid Rafai Kogli Mogadam Joseph Stipe Vukasovic Trevor Michael White Will the platform guests please rise for the recession? Congratulations to the grad class of 2021. We did it! <laughs> Cheers! Yay. 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 Happy graduation! Yay. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, all the best. Go out there and get them. Congratulations! Thank you.